नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वील स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक विच इज मॉडल्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन वील स्टडी थ्री डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन डिस्क्रिमिनेंट फंक्शंस दैट लर्न डायरेक्ट मैपिंग बिटवीन फीचर वेक्टर एंड लेबल जनरेटिव एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेटिव मॉडल्स दैट लर्न कंडीशनल प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड असाइंस क्लास लेबल बेस्ड ऑन दैट Generative classifiers use Bayes' theorem on class conditional densities of features and prior probabilities of classes, whereas discriminative classifiers use parametric models to learn conditional probability distribution. Instance-based models compare the test examples with the training examples and assign class labels based on certain measure of similarity. So there are three methods. discriminant function that learn direct mapping generative and discriminative models that learn that learn conditional probability probability distribution and instance based models that compare test example with the training example so these are three different classification methods that will be studying in this module before getting into any of these methods let's let's look at a generic classification setup In classification we are interested in predicting class label y of an example based on its feature vector the class label is a discrete quantity unlike a real number in the regression setup the feature vector discussion that we had in regression setup is equally applicable to the classification setup but in case of classification the class label y is a discrete quantity which is different from what we had in a linear regression setup so in case of classification label is a discrete quantity it is precisely an element in some finite set of class labels let's look at some of the examples of class label sets so these are four examples of class label sets the first one has two elements 0 and 1 the second one has element -1 and +1 third one third one has elements yes and no and fourth one has more than two elements which is the names of the fruits and depending on the nature of the problem we have one or more labels assigned to each example so in case of classification first we come up with the label set the definition of the label set and the type of labels that needs to be assigned to each example and that depends on the nature of the problem that we are trying to solve So based on the number of labels we have two types of classification setup classification problems one is single label classification where each example has exactly one label for example is the applicant eligible for loan this is a classical example of a single label classification the loan is either approved or not approved hence the label set has two elements yes and no and the label for each loan application is either yes or no because loan is either approved or rejected the second type is multi label classification setup where each example has one or more than one labels for example if you are given a picture and you are asked to identify different types of fruits in the picture that is an example of multi label classification setup Let's look at how labels are represented in classification setup. In case of single label classification, the label is a scalar quantity and is represented by y, which is a small case letter y. In case of multi label classification, since there are one or more labels, for example, we use a vector representation. And as usual, the vector is represented by a small case bold face letter. here the the small case bold face y which is a vector for multi label classification is represented as uh, a vector with k components and its k are basically the elements in the label set here y1 y2 all the way up to yk are k elements or labels from the label set and depending on the presence of the label the corresponding label is set to 1 or the corresponding component in this particular vector will be set to 
Let's look at examples of a single label classification and multi label classification setup. First, look at the binary single label classification. As we have discussed earlier, one of the examples could be whether the applicant is eligible for loan. In this case, the label set is yes or no. We usually convert it to 1 or 0, where we use 1 to represent yes and 0 to represent no. And each loan application gets one of the two labels, either yes or no, or 1 or 0. And the training example has a feature vector where features are for the loan application and these features could be age of the applicant, income, number of dependents, etc. and a label Y which is either yes or no. Let's look at another single label classification but in this case we have multiple classes. So one of the example is types of the iris flower. The label set has three, uh, three types of flowers, versicolor, setosa and virginica. And we assign exactly one label from this set to each flower. So these are iris flower, beautiful iris flowers on your screen. And we assign one of the label to each of the flower. We use one hot encoding scheme for label encoding in multi-class setup. So we make use of vector y with components equal to the number of labels in the label set. So in case of iris example, this would become the, the vector y has got three component y versicolor, y setosa and y virginica. Let's assume that the flower has a label versicolor, we will encode it as follows. So since the flower is of the type versicolor, y versicolor is set to 1 and other labels are set to 0. So we get a representation which is a vector y which has 1 for versicolor, 0 for setosa and virginica. Let's look at multi-label classification. In this case, each example has more than one label. So let's say we want to label all fruits from an image and let's say are given a label set which is list of fruits which is apple, guava, mango, orange, banana and strawberry and we need to assign one or more fruits as they are present in the image. So our label vector y will have, will have a component corresponding to each fruit present in the label set. So there is, there is a component corresponding to apple, guava, mango, orange, banana and strawberry. Let's say this is a sample image where we want to uh, label the fruits that are present in this image. So there are apples present in the image, oranges are present and banana are present. Right? So, so we have apples, oranges and bananas. So we will label this image by setting one the value 1 corresponding to apple, orange and banana and the other components corresponding to other fruits get value of 0. So our label vector has got 1s corresponding to the fruits that are present and 0 for the fruits that are not present. Let's look at the training data for binary classification setup. So the training data is denoted by D which is a set of n pairs of a feature vector and a label. So each example has a feature vector and a label. So there are m features for each example and there is a single label because we are solving a binary classification problem. And there are n such pairs of examples. So n is the number of examples and m is the number of features for every example. So the training data is represented with a feature matrix X that corresponds to all training example and has shape N cross M where N is the number of examples and M is the, is the number of features for each example. 
In this matrix, each feature vector is transposed and is represented as rho in this matrix. And we have discussed this uh, many times since, since our regression module. So we are using exactly the same setup over here. Concretely, the feature vector for the i training example can be obtained by accessing ith index in the feature matrix. The feature vector for i training example is represented by x superscript i. And the label uh, for the ith example is denoted by y superscript i and it can be accessed with the by accessing the ith entry of the label vector y and this label vector has shape of n cross 1. There are n examples and each example has a single label. The training setup for multi-class classification is same as the binary classification except for the fact that we use a label vector y for every example in case of multi-class classification as against a scalar y to represent label in the binary classification. We have n pairs of examples containing a feature vector and a label vector. X is a feature matrix of shape n cross m and y is a label matrix of shape n cross k where k is the total number of classes in the label set. So for every example in the training set we have a vector y with k components and that vector is transposed. So each vector corresponding to the uh, to every example is present as a row vector in the label matrix. Multi-label classification has exactly the same setup as the multi-class classification. It has got a feature matrix and a label matrix in its training set. The multi-class and multi-label classification differs in the content of their label vector. In case of multi-class classification, exactly one entry in the feature vector is 1, whereas in case of multi-label classification, more than one entries in the feature vector could be 1. With this, we conclude the generic classification setup discussion. We will be using the concepts that we discussed in this particular video again and again in the classification. So see you in the next class where we will discuss discriminant functions. Until then, thank you and Namaste.